are you doing? ASMR. ASMR right now. <laughs> Hope you're doing great. So, today, I'm going to meditate for 30 minutes and then do an hour of yoga. The topic is being friendly. We're going to start right away. We give everybody a minute to join. So, at least people see that it's starting. Let people see that it's starting so people can join in if they want. And yeah. Good. So, everybody, my name is Marcel. We're not alone here. We are joined by Sean. Sean is here for entertainment, energy, and motivation. I'm here for the instructions, the questions, and the support. And that's Sean. Sean is a dragon. I'm I'm a human, <laughs> I think. <sighs> Good. Sit up tall. From here. Along from your hips to the top of the head, we are going to start with the meditation practice, and I will guide you into the meditation, and then it's each each for their own own way, right? For 25 minutes, then five minutes of shavasana, I will guide you into the shavasana. After 25 minutes, so feel free to join in. Come to a great set if you're sitting on the floor. Make sure you sit up on a sitting pillow or make sure you sit up on some books. If you're sitting up in a chair, you can also sit up in a chair. And just close your eyes, get long from your hips to the top of the head. And every time you feel uncomfortable, feel free to change your sitting position. Now focusing on your breath, just focus on your inhale and your exhale. Just focus on your inhale and your exhale. And every time you lose this focus, observe your thoughts and slowly come back to your inhale and your exhale, letting go of your thoughts again, but observing them and slowly and effortlessly let them go, coming back to your thoughts and observing your inhale and your exhale again. That's all what we do. Enjoy these 30 minutes and see you after. See you after.
slowly. Lie down on your back. Extend your legs. Bring your arms by your sides and just be. Lie on your back. Release your breath. Feet are facing away from each other, arms are lying by your sides, palms are pointing up towards the sky. This is important. Palms are pointing up towards the sky. Bring the chin a little bit to your chest. Close your eyes and just be. Close your eyes and just be. Slowly start to stretch your legs, move your fingers, move your toes, coming back to your body. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs, coming back to your body. Move your body in any kind of way that feels good to you. And slowly come up to sit po sitting position if you need to yawn, yawn, <laughs> yawn. Oh. Good. 
And we're starting with the yoga lesson. Welcome in, Tio... Tio Galo. <laughs> Tio Galo. How are you doing? Good to have you. Respira. Exhala. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, hope you're having a great day. Everybody who's in here. Everybody who's in here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. If you'd like to join in, come again to a great sit. And from there, sit up tall in any kind of sit. It doesn't matter in what kind of sitting position you are right now. And we are starting off with the mantra, with a mantra. And then we see where we're going in this friendly yoga lesson today. So the topic is friendly and friendly and we're not shooting each other. Today, <laughs> today, <laughs> so sit up tall from your hips to the top of the head, feel the length and every time you feel like changing your sitting posture, do that, feel comfortable, right? And if you're sitting on the floor, sit up on some uh, books or a sitting pillow. By the way, my name is Marcel and this is Sean, Sean is here for entertainment, energy and motivation, I'm here for instructions, tech questions, and the support. If you have any kind of requests, always let me know so we can head into a different kind of direction right away and uh, take care of your body, take care of your needs more di in a more direct approach. Good. Let's go. Let's go. We're going with the Chamba Kamiya Chama Mantra. Uh, and we are honoring with that mantra, death. We are honoring death with that mantra. We are honoring uh, the letting go of things that are not serving us anymore. So maybe something comes up that you want to let go and you think like, yeah, that's not serving us. That's not serving me anymore. So this mantra connects a little bit to that. And it's the ultimate healing mantra. So feel free to connect with that. Yeah. With that said, uh, a mantra is also the vibration, a vibrational quality to it. So with this vibration that we send throughout our body, we're connecting to our, to our body, especially also to our throat, right? So instead of talking like this, or like up in the throat completely, you will be also not speaking like this really deep, but you will find your natural kind of like way of of talking and of singing right and this will help you a great deal in communicating with others if that said let's go the whole mantra goes like this om triamba kamya chamai sugandem pushti vardanam urvaru kamiva bandanam rechior mukshi amamritata that's the whole mantra and we're going to dissect it a little little step by step and in the end we're singing it together. It will take quite some time. Uh, so make sure your sitting posture feels good again and again. If it doesn't feel good anymore. Or maybe just sit up in a chair if that feels better to you. Let's go. Let's go. So this is call and repeat. So I start, you repeat. We repeat together. Om. Om. Tiriyamba Kamya Jamai. <laughs> that was too long. <laughs> Let's go again. Tiriyamba Kam. Now repeat. Tiriyamba Kam. Ya Jamai. Ya Jamai. Sugandem. Sugandem. Pushti. Pushti. Vardanam. Vardanam. Urvaru. <coughs> Urvaru. Kamiva, Kamiva, Bandanan, Bandanan, Rechur, Rechur, Mukshi, Mukshi, Amamritata, Amamritata. Om, Om, Tiryamba Kam, Tiryamba Kam, Yajamai, Yajamai, 
Sugandem, Sugandem, Pushti, Pushti, Vardanam, Vardanam, Urvaru, Urvaru, Kamiva, Kamiva, Bananan, Bananan, Rachor, Rachor, Mukshi, Mukshi, Amamrita, Amamrita, Om, Om, Tiryamakam, Tiryamakam, Yajamai, Yajamai, Sugandem, Sugandem, Pushti, Pushti, Vardanam, Vardanam, Urvaru, Urvaru, Kamiva, Kamiva, Bananan, Bananan, Rachor, Rachor, Mukshi, Mukshi, Amamritata, Amamritata. Good, let's go a little bit more, take a little bit more to it. Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamae. Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamae. Sugandem Pushti Vardanam. Sugandem Pushti Vardanam. Urvaru Kamiva Bandanan. Urvaru Kamiva Bandanan. Rachur Mukshi Amamritata. Rachur Mukshi Amamritata. Om Tiryamma Kamya Jamai. Om Tiryamma Kamya Jamai. Sugandem Pushti Vardanam. Sugandem Pushti Vardanam. Urvaru Kamiva Bananan, Urvaru Kamiva Bananan, Rachor Mukshi Amamrita, Rachor Mukshi Amamrita, Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamai, Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamai, Sugandem Pushti Vardanam, Sugandem Pushti Vardanam, Urvaru Kamiva Bananan, Urvaru Kamiva Bananan, Rachur Mukshi Amamrita, Om, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Rachur Mukshi Amamrita, Om Tiryamma Kamya Jamai. Om Tiryamma Kamya Jamai. Sugandem Pushti Vardanam. Sugandem Pushti Vardanam. Urvaru Kamiva Bananan. Urvaru Kamiva Bananan. Rachur Mukshi Amamrita. Rachur Mukshi Amamrita. All together, sing together with me. Om Tiryamma Kamya Jamai. Sugandem Pushti Vardanam. Urvaru Kamiva Bananam. Rachur Mukshi Amamrita. Om Tiryamma Kamya Jamai Sugandem Pushti Vardanam Urvaru Kamiva Bananam Rechur Mukshi Amamrita Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamai Sugandem Pushti Vardanam Urvaru Kamiva Bandanan, Rachur Mukshi Amamrita, Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamai, Sugandem Pushti Vardanam, 
Purva rukami va bandanan, Rechur mukshiya mamrita to Om Triambakam yachamai, Sugandem pushti vardanam, Purva rukami va bandanan, Rechur mukshiya mamrita to Om Triambakam yachamai, Sugandem pushti vardanam, Urva rukami va bandanam, Rechur mukshiya mamrita to Om Triambakam yachamai, Sugandem pushti vardanam, Urva rukami va bandanam, Rechur mukshiya mamrita to Om Triambakam yachamai, Sugandem pushti vardanam, Urva rukami va bandanam, Rechur mukshiya mamrita to Om Tiryambakam Yajamai Sugandem Pushti Vardanam Urvarukami Vabandanam Rechur Mukshiyam Amrita Last time all together Om Tiryambakam Yajamai Sugandem Pushti Vardanam Urvarukami va bandanan, Mechur mukshiya mamrita tu. Bring your hands to your heart. Bow your head in front of your heart. Breathing in deep through your nose. Release your arms by your sides, palms up pointing forward. Bring your arms up. By your side. Hello, can't stay. Just came to say hi. Have a nice day. I appreciate that. Oclarius, if you're not still here, have a wonderful day as well. Thank you so much for coming by. Release your arms by your sides down. Everybody else in here sending wonderful vibes to each other. I <laughs> appreciate that a lot, a lot. Bring your arms up by your sides up. Palms are pointing forward. Get long from your sitting bones to the top of the fingers. Get long, long, long. And release. Tiogalo. Tiogalo. That's Sp Spanish. Not like what you have written, right? If you're still here, bring your hands up by your sides. Get long, long, long. Breathing in deep. Coming into your body right now. How does your body feel right now after singing the mantra as well? Release the arms by your sides down. Appreciate everybody that's just coming in and saying hi. Appreciate that so much. Bring your arms up by your side. Get long, long, long. And breathing out, release. In any case, if you have any kind of wishes of where to go in this, to the, this yoga lesson, please let me know. Otherwise, I will just ask my body and let, let's find out where my body guides us. And uh, yeah, let's we'll see about that. Ah, breathing out, release your arms by your sides down. So first of all, what I love to do is giving my feet a little bit of a massage with the thumbs, with the thumbs. See if that feels also good to you, if you can do that. And especially in that pose that I am here right now sitting, you can do it also in other poses. But here I can really shift my weight to the left and to the right and really press with my weight down through the thumb into the foot, into the, <laughs> on the top of the foot, right? So you can really give a little bit of a massage there and see how that feels, right? Checking in with my feet, how they are feeling. And from there, bring your hands to your thighs and move your hands forward and backward and feel how your hands feeling today. Good. 
Move your hands forward and then backward. And I said feel. I know what kind of feeling is coming up as you're doing this. Bring your shoulders forward, then upward, backward and down. And forward, upward, backward and down. So I have quite some information coming up here. I think uh, we are going to multi-stream again very, very soon. So a friend kind of like told me that multi-streaming isn't really good and that I shouldn't do that. Well, I disagree. I disagree uh, right now. And probably we're going back to it very, very soon. And yeah. stream to multiple platforms and then of course maybe the text messages will be a little bit diff different a little more trolls will be there again we see about that you know uh, it's kind of strange to me I haven't had a troll in so long such a long time such a long time no trolls at all it's crazy so just connect with your hands how do your hands feel as you're doing this movement? And how do your thighs feel as you're do doing this movement? So what kind of feelings are coming up on your thighs? Right. So quite some changes are planned in this yoga lesson here. But uh, for now, the time stays the same. So 30 minutes of meditation, then an hour of yoga. And from there, bring your shoulders forward. As your arms are moving forward, then bring your shoulders upward and backward and down. And again, forward, upward, backward and down. Tuning into your body, sitting up tall, 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 tall. And next week, we have a wonderful podcast coming up with uh, Glenda, a dear friend of mine. We will be speaking about mantras and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I'm li really looking forward to it. Great. And then interlace the fingers, circle your wrist in one direction. Just checking in with how that feels. Shake your wrists out, your elbows, your shoulders. Interlace the fingers again, circle into the other direction. Shake your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders. From here let's go somewhere else let's go somewhere else let's come into all fours let's warm up there and see where we're going see where we are going today I'm excited to see where we're going just listening to my body today without a lot of thinking so bring your shoulders over the wrist bring your hips over the knees and start to arc up from your lower spine upward looking upward and rounding down from chin to chest, breathing out, chest up into the sky. If you have any questions, if anything is unclear, please, 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 feel free to ask all the time. Feel free to ask. Rounding down, chin to chest, breathing in, arcing up. Rounding down, chin to chest, and arcing up again. Great. From here. 
just come into a neutral position and then focusing on the upper body release the chest down shoulder blades come onto the back together and then push out again shoulders are leaving the shoulder socket then release down shoulder blades are coming together on your back and pushing up again and releasing down great job everybody You're doing amazing amazing job releasing down and pushing up and down and up and really feel your shoulder blades are coming together on your back and then how you're pushing out pushing your whole body up it's like something you can feel time time and time and practice in the first time you probably won't feel it that much because you just need to create the, the sensitivity there you need to maybe even connect to the brain toward these areas a little bit better so you can feel what's happening exactly you need to practice a certain kind of awareness good from here sit back on your heels as good as you can you can tuck your toes or untuck them as, as it feels better for you and from here bring your knees to the sides big toes together child's pose i love child's pose and make sure you don't have a waist restriction going on so loosen your belt if you're wearing a belt or something similar and then release forward as much as you can big toes are together breathing in deep into the belly into the chest breathing out releasing breathing in Breathing on. Great job, everybody. So really take, take a deep breath into your belly. And if there's some stretch going on in your body, honoring that stretch and breathing into that stretch, engaging maybe your muscles a little bit. And breathing out. Great job. And there, come up slowly again. Take your time coming up. Okay. Bring your hands forward. And then step with the right leg back and shift forward and backward, pushing the toes into the floor. See how that feels? Just giving. Yeah, it's better to do it on the mat. So I've got a little bit more uh, hold. Moving forward and backward with your foot, with your whole body. How does that feel? Great. I haven't done a certain kind of balance for a long time. We're doing that balance today. I'm excited. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go there in a moment. Not right now, but in a moment. So before going there, bring your knees down again. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees, and we are first of all doing a table position. Table posi position, what we want to do is here, you give all the weight to the left hand and the right knee, and then slowly bring your right arm up, keeping the same kind of position in the upper body as good as you can. So try to shift the weight without changing any kind of position in the upper body. Bring your arm up, then bring your foot to the back push your foot into an imaginary back wall and keep your hips in one level from here your head is also in line with the spine great job get long you can also look over your shoulder to the back and check with your leg if it's pointing exactly to the back in a straight kind of fashion <laughs> and from there get long from your back foot to the top of the finger and just breathe in deep Today we're just focusing on the straightness and then breathing out, releasing, changing the side. Take some time, maybe come to your knees, shake your body out a little and change the side. Other side, 
take some time, find first a great stance, spread your fingers a little bit and then hand forward. So again, focusing on your shoulders first, for focusing on your distance. Good. Then just shift away to the right hand and then slowly, slowly lifting the left hand up. And push the right leg to the back. Your head in line with the spine. Get long from your back leg to the top of the fingers. Feel the length, feel the length. Just the length today, breathing in, get longer. Breathing out, releasing a little bit. And again, breathing in, get longer. Also to the crown of the head, get long to the crown of the head. And then release down again, great job. Good, shake your wrists out. How are your wrists doing? I kind of like hurt my wrists a little bit as, as I slept today. Um, I kind of like sometimes sleep with my wrists kind of bent like this and it really hurts. So um, yeah, don't sleep like this with your wrists. <laughs> so sometimes that happens. But uh, my wrists are since the injury, since the bike injury that I had are getting way, way better right now. So one hand is completely healed, the other hand is still healing. So right now, I'd like to challenge yourself a little bit. First of all, make sure you're a little bit more to the front of the mat. Have your shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees, and from there bring, your, bring one leg to the back and turn it to the side. It's in line with kind of like the hand and the knee. From there, come up, engage your belly a little and bring your arm next to your ear. Great job. Drawing the belly in and up. Finding length from the back leg to the top of the fingers. And from here, we are slowly lifting the leg up if you can do that can do that, lift your leg up. Spread your fingers a lot. Keep the balance. Try to not shift with the foot to one side. Your head in line with the spine. Draw the belly in and up. If you're looking down with your eyes, you want to see barely the toes. Good, and then release down. Great job. Whoop. Changing it a little bit up. So other side, coming up on the other side, all fours. Spread your fingers again, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. And from there, turn your leg 90 degrees, or like the left leg or just the other leg. Bring it around, turn it 90 degrees, lay it on your side. Make sure it's in line with your foot and your hand. Good. And then come up. See how that feels this side. See if this side feels different. And honoring if it feels different. Smiling. Your head in line with the spine. Doing good. And from there, lift your back leg up slowly, slowly. Finding great balance. Challenge yourself a little, smiling. Good job. Good job. Engaging the belly. And then slowly release down. Ooh, how did that feel? 
Sit back and your heels, bring your knees to the sides, you know what we're doing. Child's pose again, big toes together. And reach forward. Anytime you like to come to child's pose, you're very welcome to do that. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. If there's any kind of stretch coming up, listen to that stretch. Bring your shoulders a little bit away from your ears, so not directly going forward, having your head kind of like in between. But bring your arms a little bit to the side so the shoulders can rest easily. Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. Slowly coming up again. Slowly, slowly. And we're going one more time, but a little bit different. This time we bring the elbow down. So that will have another sensation to it. Maybe it's a little bit dif more difficult. Maybe it's a little bit easier. Well, let's see. So start with the side you begun. We bring both elbows down and all fours. Bring both elbows down. Good. And from here again, bring one leg to the back, turn it 90 degrees. And then bring the hand Whoop. <laughs> and you see what's happening, the, the knee kind of comes forward, <laughs> couldn't hold it there, it brings too much pressure, so maybe, maybe it's better if you go directly up to, to the whole thing. So check in what feels better, maybe you go over the step here and try to come up from here, or you go directly with your leg up, which is maybe easier for you. And trying to find, whoop, yep, if you fall out of it, laugh about it, whoo, it's hard today, it's hard today, <laughs> yep, whoo, <laughs> can't do it, good, <laughs> laugh, laugh about it if you fall out of it, it's a hard position, it's a hard position, it's not easy, so again, we try it one more time together, bring your knees down, Hips over the knees, and then bring the leg up, turn it to the side, and extend your fingers away from each other. Find a great balance, engage your belly a lot, a lot. And as soon as you feel ready, bring your arm up. Super, super hard. Especially if you go a little bit too far to the back, you're losing it. Engage your hips a lot, engage your belly a lot. Good, and then release down again. Whew. And the foot turns a little bit to the side. I think that's somewhat needed. Otherwise, you really need to be, uh, you really need to be in one line and not fall over it. Because if you just fall over it a little tiny bit, you're just falling to the back. So change the side. Great job, everybody. Keep on going. Shoulders over the elbows, hips over the knees, fingers are pointing forward and extend the fingers away from each other. Great job. From here, bring your back leg up, opening your hip, opening here your hip and really guide yourself there slowly with your arm, engaging your hips a lot, engaging your belly a lot. As soon as you find balance <laughs> go there and of course for me it's easy because I have a wall behind me so I'm not quite right falling out of but I can kind of hold myself behind and push myself back into it yeah now my knee kind of lifted a little bit and put the whole thing out of line so it's easier to hold well, how does it feel for you to draw the belly in and up Engage a lot and release down. Oh. Yeah, it's quite, quite an exploration there, isn't it? Shake your wrists, shake your elbows, sh shoulders. How does your body feel right now? Good. Let's see where we're going today. Um. 
yeah let's do let's do something with our let's stand up first of all and let's do something with, with our neck so standing up in your time slowly and with all of our awareness i kind of like was a little bit in hurry right now so stand up a little bit slower shake your legs so you're standing good and from here first of all let's just look to the right side as far as we can don't push yourself but just release your shoulders as much as you can and breathe in deep into your belly into your chest using your breath as a tool means like you really breathe in as deep as you can release your breath and looking over the left shoulder and really breathe in deep again into your belly into your chest and release come back into the middle bring your right ear to the right shoulder right ear to the right shoulder release your shoulders down a lot a lot and get long from your left shoulder to the left ear chin a little bit to the back how does your body feel and again breathing deep into the belly into the chest releasing your shoulders as much down as you can Release your head halfway forward and bring it up the other side. Left ear to the left shoulder, releasing your shoulders down as much as you can, breathing in deep. And we go one more time each side, releasing this time. Allow that you can grab around your head with one arm. And just put the weight of your hands to your left ear, not pulling down, but really weight to the end, to your ear, and not pulling your elbow up to your ear, but try to release your shoulders down as much as you can. From there, breathe in deep. You can also push your left hand a little bit down if you like. Uh, breathing out, half circling. Other side can do that. This is optional with your arm and with your with your arm to your ear and then the other arm down. Breathing in deep. Release your head halfway forward and pick your head up slowly. Great job. Good. From here, just start jumping and start moving in any kind of way. It feels good to you. A little bit of jumping also involved. Just almost lost my microphone there. And maybe shake your whole body to the left and to the right. Let your whole body hang down. And you can also come up, spread your legs a little bit further, stand up and down, Whew. feeling a little bit balanced, being playful here. Not kind of any, any real instructions here going on, but being playful, listening to where your body likes to take you right now. Not really super, super engaged, but rather released and controlled. Released and controlled. Release and control. <laughs> I like that, release and control. Good. And stretch your arms up into the sky. A lot, a lot, a lot. Right. Please stand. Whew. Whew. Good, this day where we kind of like can put our legs wherever you like, put them a little bit further or put them closer as you wish, as you wish today. 
as it feels good to you. I'm putting them a little bit close, uh, further away. And then bring your hands in front of your heart and start to warm up your hands. From here, warming up your hands, maybe you know what's coming. We're hugging the whole world, this little sequence, warming up your hands a lot. <clears throat> as soon as they are warm, bring the hands, the palms in front of your eyes together and not connecting your hands with your skin of the face right now, but really coming close to your skin and feeling the warmth emitting from your hands to your face. If, uh, if you can feel it, awesome. If you don't, don't worry about it too much. Release the hands down, the, the fingertips down onto your face. Having your eyes closed, giving your eyes a quick little rest here. And then draw down with your fingertips, slowly down. As the rain would refresh your whole body, draw your fingertips down on your whole body and then release the arms by your sides and bring the arms up by your sides. Great job. Slightly above your shoulders. Good. And we're getting long from our feet. From our feet to the top of the head as we're breathing in. Feel the length to the crown of the head and then breathing out releasing the length again. From here we are breathing in and we are getting longer from the shoulders to the fingers. Just shoulders to the fingers right now. And breathing out, releasing again, taking up more space. Great job. How does that feel? Our palms are pointing forward. It's important. Now breathing in again, extend the fingers away from each other. Making more space based with the hands. Breathing in and breathing out, releasing that as well. And fourth time, let's go all together, breathing in deep. Get long from your feet to the top of the head, crown of the head. Get long from the shoulders out to the fingers. Extend the fingers away from each other. You're doing super awesome. And then as you're breathing out, give yourself a big, big hug, a big, big hug. Smiling, you're doing great. Smiling. Great job. How does that feel? Hugging the whole world, release your arms again and hug yourself the other way around. Connecting with the whole world, bring the other arm on top, right? Hug yourself again. You're doing amazing. Smiling. Good job. And release your arms. Great. Great job. Good. So, I like to go for some stretching, especially our hamstrings again. Hamstrings, always hamstrings, come all also to forward fold in a little bit. But first, let's do some hamstring work and shake your legs out a little bit more before doing that. So, and then bring the right leg forward, the left leg a little bit to the back, bend your knee of your back leg, and from here, hinge at the hips. And we will reach forward with a straight back. Reach forward with a straight back. Again, make sure that your knee is not pushed through, but it's somewhat engaged. Just a little bit, so it's straight, right? Hinge at the hips. Get long from your hips to the head. If you hear my cat meowing, she's meowing for attention and food, and she will get something very, very soon. Your head is in line with the spine, breathing in deep. Ah, breathing out, hinging at the hips. Great job. How does that feel? From here, change the side. All the leg forward. Bend your back leg. Back knee, bend your back knee. Hinge at the hips, get long first of all. 
feel the length from your hips to the head and then start arcing <laughs> no hinging at the hips not rounding not arcing but just hinging at the hips finding a hamstring stretch in the front leg great job smiling You're doing amazing <sighs> breathing in deep and as you're breathing out, maybe, just maybe, come a little bit further down. And honor where you work today. You can also check with your lower spine here. If there are vertebrae sticking out, that means you're rounding your spine. And you should come up and start again from the top. You're doing great. Honoring where you are. Release, shake your legs out. We go one more time each side. Then we go a little bit further. Shake your legs, right leg forward, left leg to the back. Bend your back knee, and again, find the length from your hips to the head, then arc, not arcing, uh, but hinging. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm saying the wrong, wrong words, wrong words. Hinging at the hips, coming forward as far as you can, listening to your body. Maybe you're up here and that's completely fine. But all what's important is that you feel a hamstring stretch. That's our goal. Nothing more, nothing less. Your head is in line with the spine. So head in line with the spine makes it all feel more comfortable. Is that like having your head up here or down here? Good. Get long from your hips to the head. Breathing in deep. Breathing in deep. And as you're breathing out, maybe just maybe you can release a little bit more great and then come up again change the side bend your back knee and again get long from your hips to the head and forward With hinging at the hips keep your back straight Find a hamstring stretch here. Using your breath as a tool here. One more time, breathing in deep. Uh, breathing out, releasing. Coming up. Great job. Good job. How did that feel? Shake your legs out a little. Bring your le legs to the side, to the short end of the mat. Short end of the mat. The toes are pointing forward. Toes are pointing forward. So the second toe, sec second toe is kind of like parallel to each other. So in one line from the second toe to your uh, shin bone, should be one line. Hope you understand that. If not, tell me. Bring your arms by your sides. And your wrists should be over the heels right now, approximately. It doesn't need to be perfect, but approximately. From there, hinge at the hips, push your butt to the back. Keep your knees, kneecaps engaged. Great job. And see how far you can come down. Push your butt to the back, engage your thighs and your knees. Here, reach down to the floor and rounding your whole back, rounding your whole back. As in cat cow pose, rounding the whole back right now. And from here, keep your knees engaged, your thighs engaged, both legs. And we're going to the left leg and saying hello to your toes. How are your toes doing? How, are your le how is your foot doing? Good. Keep your other knee cap engaged, other thigh engaged, and come back into the middle. Change around. Both kneecaps engaged, your thighs engaged. Great job. Saying hello to your toes, your foot. And come back into the middle. Slowly coming up to your thighs. 
and start to step together or heel to heel toe together if you want, like shake your legs so heel to heel toe together means like heel toe heel toe so of course you can start a little bit and as soon as you find momentum you can come and lift left right left coming together good shake your legs out a little and from here we're coming to a forward fold forward fold we hinge at the hips hinging at the hips push your butt a little bit out good and release down from here you can whoop <laughs> that was strange <laughs> we can have your hips over the heels hips over heels as good as you can so straighten your knees have your hips over the heels as good as you can so a lot of the weight will be over to the toes you can already grab around your elbows if you wish that feels good to you and focus on your hips F think about bringing them over the the heels and what's happening is that a lot of the weight will come towards our toes because our upper body is like leaning forward right so press a little bit more into your toes great job and from there you can release your neck a lot releasing your neck a lot having your hips still over the toes uh, sorry hips still over the heels as good as you can and see how maybe it gets easier and you can release more Hips over heels is the important thing here. Having that correct is like everything here. So really focus on that a lot, a lot. And release your head a lot. Good, and from here bring your hands behind your back together, interlace the fingers and draw away with your arms. This is optional, you don't need to do that. And as soon as you're drawn away, release all the muscles and let gravity take over. Let gravity take over and let it guide you. From there, bring your hands back. To your hips, elbows pointing upward, bend your knees a lot, Woo! and stand up with a straight back. Yeah, shake your legs out. How did that feel? How did that feel? Good. Well, we don't have too much time left, so I'm going to use that time to give a little bit more love to our thighs right now. So come to the front of the mat and sit down. Well, taking your time sitting down. And maybe rolling to the back if you wish. Ooh. Great job. Doing amazing. You are doing amazing. Don't forget that. I'm saying that too less. <laughs> I should say it a little bit more. Good. But know that you are important and you're doing a great, great, great job for your own body. Good. So from here, we are, yeah, I know what we're doing. Stand one leg, the ankle rooted down, then bring the other leg in and grab around either on the shin bone or on the thigh and pulling in. Root your ankle down, root your hips down, feel how your hips are connected to the floor. And from here, breathing in deep, having your shoulders on the floor rooted, Drawing in a lot, a lot. Breathing out, releasing. Breathing in. One more time, breathing in. And breathing out, drawing in one more time. And then changing around, other side. Whoop. 
other leg, root your right ankle out or root your ankle down, whatever ankle is now on the floor, root your shoulders down on the floor, doing weight and draw in a lot. Breathing in deep. And breathing out. Breathing in deep and one more time, breathing out, drawing in. And releasing completely. Good job. Releasing completely. And I think we'll leave it at that. So release your leg down, extend your legs and shift your hips left and right, giving your hips a little bit more space. If you like to do some other poses before coming into Shavasana, you have now the time to do that. Otherwise, we're slowly moving into Shavasana. So Shavasana means corpse pose. And we're just lying and we're not doing anything. Good. Can you do that? <laughs> it's the hardest pose. That's, that's what people say. So extend your le leg. Feet are facing away from each other. Extend your legs. Feet are facing away from each other. Arms are lying by your sides. Palms are pointing up. Bring the chin to the chest. Close your eyes and just be. Just be. Nothing to do here. Just be. will get you back out of this position in a minute. So just be have your eyes closed. Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. Having your eyes still closed. Whenever you feel ready, come back to your body and draw your knees in towards your belly. Shift yourself either to the left or the right side, coming to lie down on your side body. In the side body position, release all the tension. Releasing all the tension. 
softening the skin of the face, releasing your tongue, your neck, your shoulders, releasing your elbows, your wrists, your fingers, your toe, <laughs> not your toes, that's a little <laughs> strange there, your chest, your belly, your hips, your spine, your whole back, your hips, your legs, your knees, your ankles, and finally your toes. Great. Softening your whole skin of the body. From there, breathe in deep, feeling friendly, feeling kind today. And breathing out, feeling how the earth carries you. With your next breath in, lift yourself up, come into a final sitting position. From there, bring your hands in front of the heart together. As soon as you're there, bring the hands in front of the heart together. I honor deeply that you took care of your body today, honoring your yoga practice. Bow your head in front of your heart. Namaste. The emptiness inside of me recognizes the emptiness inside of you. Release your arms, open your eyes. Welcome back. So I hope you enjoyed this yoga lesson. Hope you enjoyed the stretches that we did. And uh, we will be here again tomorrow, same time as always. Feel free to join in live, of course. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe, hit subscribe and the bell. All these uh, lessons here are uploaded to YouTube and uh, yeah, it's a great journey that we are on together. Appreciate you being here, practicing with me. If you have any questions, ideas or suggestions, please either write them in the chat or write them in the comments or coming to the my Discord channel. Um, links in this description or in the about section and other than that, you also see it in the chat right now. These are the lives, so the YouTube sections. I've currently have four YouTube channels even. So one German, one English, then one live stream channel and for the health skill podcast I'm doing. So four channels, uh, feel free to check them out and yeah, connect with them. If that's said, uh, join the Discord, don't forget that. Hit the check mark when you're coming in so you will be let in automatically. And next to that, feel free to check out the podcast. We released another podcast episode last day. Uh, it's about traumas. It was a really great episode together with Carmen Elena Frey, uh, who's a psychology master. And it was great having her on the show. Feel honored, feel very much honored. And with that said, I wish you guys a wonderful rest of the day, wherever you are in the world. Currently, it's snowy outside at my place. Uh, I'm excited about that. Maybe, maybe if there will be some more snow, there will definitely be a, 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 a snowman stream coming up very, very soon. That would be ideal to do that. With that said, wish you a wonderful rest of the day. And let's go write somebody, shall we? Shall we go raid somebody, you guys? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. Um, average shows are online. There are a lot of people online on this mo morning. We're going definitely to average shows and we're checking them out with average shows OC. So let's check them out what they are doing. And 
With that said, I wish you a wonderful rest of the day and I hope to see you very, very soon. That was it. That was it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, you guys. Bye-bye. See you soon.